and here. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Student Leadership and Involvement Awards Ceremony. Today is Thursday, April 29th, 2021, and we appreciate you joining us virtually tonight. The Virtual Student Leadership and Involvement Awards Ceremony, coordinated by the Office of Student Life, is intended to recognize the accomplishments of stud orgs and student leaders at Bakersfield College. This event, which is the annual Student Leadership Recognition Awards Ceremony at the college, is a chance for all registered stud orgs, student organizations, and student leadership to present their achievements to the rest of the college community and be recognized for their accomplishments. It is an opportunity for them to show the wide variety of activities they're involved in and to demonstrate their ingenuity and creative talent. Before we get into the awards, let us remind you that you that immediately after this ceremony will be the 2021 Honor Celebration. The 2021 Honor Celebration recognizes student recipients of scholarships or awards for the spring 2021 and upcoming 21-22 academic year. This pre-recorded event will feature BC administrators and a keynote speaker, as well as name recognition for student recipients. You can view the celebration at Bakersfield College's YouTube channel a link to it will be provided in the chat. And with that, we will get rolling. Let me just quickly go over a few housekeeping rules. Please make sure your mic is muted. The ceremony will be recorded. We are streaming live to Facebook. Be sure to use your clap or your thumbs up button often. Please add your comments and encouragement in the chat box and enjoy this time to reflect and celebrate everyone. At this time, I'm going to turn things over to Mr. Nick Strobel, the president of the Academic Senate for some congratulatory remarks. All right, make sure I get myself unmuted here. <laughs> Well, as the incoming Academic Senate President, I wanted to express my congratulations to all of you who are in the running for an award or who were nominated for an award. With the student body now over 35,000, approaching 40,000, to be even in the running for one of the awards means you're in the top 1%, actually top a tenth of a percent. So even if you don't win an award, you, sh you should still feel very proud of being considered. Bakersfield College transforms the lives of so many people, and the list of awards shows how we do that by working together and, and putting others before our own selves in a spirit of servant leadership. Thank you to all the students attending tonight. We know that each one of you are going to make this world better. So enjoy tonight's, tonight's event. You should probably, I should probably unmute myself so you could hear what I just said. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nick, for being here with us tonight. We really appreciate you taking the time out to spend the evening with us. Next, we're going to move on to our BCSGA president, Mr. Gian Gayatau. Thank you, Danielle. Now, um, we'll be starting off uh, uh, with the scholarship per portion of our ceremony and list of various scholarships were available and all those privileged to have received them. Starting off with the Grace Van Dyke Bird Award, Emerging Leader of the Year Award. Candidates for the scholarship are first year students who exhibit leadership skills by engaging in the Bakersfield College community and have sought out opportunities to get involved. Given annually to one freshman student attaining the highest standards of leadership, citizenship, service, and overall accomplishments while student attending Bakesville College. The nominees are as follows. Cynthia Corrales, Alexander Person, 
Ludvin Vallejo. Our winner is someone who once felt lost without an education. Now they want to finish up at BC and transfer to CSUB to show the sun that they could do it too. They even beat COVID this past summer to continue on their path towards completing their goals. The winner of the Grace Van Dyke Bird Award, Emerging Leader of the Year, is Ludvin Vallejos. Congratulations, Ludvin. We now continue to our next scholarship, the Alumni Association Honor Trophy, Emerging Leader of the Year Award. Candidates for the scholarship are second year students who exhibit leadership skills by engaging in the Bakersfield College community and have sought out opportunities to get involved given annually to one sophomore student, attaining the highest standards of leadership, citizenship, service, and overall accomplishments while a student attending Bakersfield College. The nominees are as follows. Amanda Amos, Madeline Elizalde, Cara Pulte, and Daniel Ramos. Our winner, it's this student's motivation, is her desire to better themselves. They love to learn and help others, and what better way than for them waiting to become a professor? This student athlete gives it her all in and out of the classroom. The winner of the Alumni Association Trophy is Kara Pulte. Congratulations, Kara. We now continue to our next scholarship, the Jack Brigham Scholarship. Jack Brigham Scholarship is awarded annually to one student attaining the highest standards of leadership, citizenship, service, and overall accomplishments while being a student at BC. Our nominees for the Jack Brigham Scholarship are as follows. Nathan Baker, Denise Miller, Annabelle Racinos, and Priya Sharma. This student was inspired by their father and his passion for his industry. This drove him to pursue engineering as it is an ever-changing field that can help others. They are aiming for that PhD and they hope to, to inspire young ladies to get into the STEM community. The winner of the Jack Brigham Scholarship is Annabelle Racinos. Congratulations, Annabelle. We now continue to our next scholarship the BCSGA Previously Incarcerated Scholarship. The candidate for the scholarship are returning students who exhibit le leadership skills by engaging in the Bakersfield College community and have sought out opportunities to get involved. Given annually to one previously incarcerated student, attaining the highest standards of leadership, citizenship, service, and overall accomplishments while a student attending Bakersfield College. The winner of this award this year is a student who found school to be very hard at first. And even though they were too old and didn't belong, and after meeting with a counselor and taking their advice, their, their poor self-image was lifted, and now they want to work in the field of mental health. The winner of this year's BCSGA Previously Incarcerated Scholarship is Emily Collins. Congratulations, Emily. We now continue to our next scholarship, the BCSGA Single Parent Scholarship. The candidate for this scholarship are students who are single income parents exhibiting leadership skills by engaging in the Bakersfield College community and have sought out opportunities to get involved. Given annually to one single parent student attaining the highest standards of leadership, citizenship, service, and overall accomplishments while being a student at Bakersfield College, our winner this year is a student that has had a difficult upbringing and to this day is working on themselves to process. Because of this, they want to work with children who have experienced some type of neglect or trauma in their households. They credit their children and their friends for guiding them on his path. The winner of the BCSGA Single Parent Scholarship is Esperanza Mena. Congratulations, Esperanza. We now continue to our next scholarship, the BCSGA Taylor Rodriguez Student Leadership for Equity Scholarship established in 2020. The BCSGA Taylor Rodriguez Leadership for Equity 
will be awarded annually to student leaders who advocated for student equity and social justice while attaining the highest standards of leadership, service, and overall accomplishment while being a student at Bakersfield College. Our winner this year is a student who has advocated for social justice and equity for BC students as a leader by starting the AI Club, where they push for more accessibility for minority communities. Once you gain your seat as a MESA student representative on the BC MESA board, they pushed for and started the peer mentoring pilot program. This year's winner of the BCSGA Taylor Rodriguez Student Leadership for Equity is Anthony Colin Herrera. Congratulations, Anthony. That concludes our scholarship portion and congratulations to all the winners. We will now move on to the Student Leader Awards. And these awards were voted on by many current student leaders, clubs, and organization members and screening committees. Our very own Benjamin Valderrama will announce the awards. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Gian. Let's get our PowerPoint up. Perfect. So we are starting with student leaders now. So the service award candidates for this award are students whose behavior embraces civic responsibility and service to the community on the campus local, regional, national, or global level. It, this individual has given of their time, talent, and efforts to contribute to the common good. The candidates are Edith Mata and Tina Thomas. The winner is someone who has truly gotten involved in the BC community to make a difference. They were highly involved with the census and past pre presidential election to make sure that their fellow students knew their rights and options to participate. This student looks to continue this path for the upcoming school year. And the winner is Edith Mata. Congratulations, Edith. We will now continue to our next award, the Renegade Spirit Award. The Renegade Spirit Award, the candidates for this award are student leaders who bring spirits and enthusiasm to the Bakersfield Community College community through their involvement on campus two candidates will be selected. Our candidates are Benjamin Duval, Edith Mata, Emma McNallis, and Priya Sharma. One student is described as an excellent leader. They schedule weekly club meetings, invites guest speakers from the college and from the industry, and leads work on building of a drone. They end up each club meeting with a short contest and involves engineering knowledge. They even supply prizes. Another student organized and led a team of Bakersfield College students in the NASA MITTIC project. The MITTIC project stands for Minority University Research and Education Project Innovation and Tech Transfer Idea Competition. They are now assembling a STEM mini academy to mentor students and provide activities to encourage their interest in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The two winners are Benjamin Duval and Priya Sharma. Congratulations, you two. Now we will continue to our next award, the Most Valuable Renegade. The Most Valuable Renegade, the candidates for this award are intercollegiate student athletes who through their involvement at Bakersfield College have made significant contribu contribu contributions to the quality of life and their fellow athletes. Two candidates will be selected. The candidates are Emily Clark for volleyball, Samuel Sarkowski, men's basketball, Jenna Sampley, women's basketball, Jackson Sanchez, football, Nicholas Sosa, men's soccer, and Trinity Yabara, softball. The coaching staff have voted and agreed that the two winners are Emily Clark of volleyball and Jackson Sanchez of football. They are your most valuable renegades. Congratulations, you two. Now we move on to the Champion for Diversity Award. 
The recipient of a, is a student that continually strives to increase the awareness of social issues and inclusivity within the organization and campus community. The candidates are Edith Mata and Zariah Hall. This student always speaks up for the underrepresented student populations, and they made that more apparent than ever with their work on last year's census and elections. The student is highly involved in the BC community and can always be found helping others. And the winner is Edith Mata. Congratulations, Edith. And now we move on to the Student Employee of the Year Award. The Student Employee of the Year is awarded to the outstanding student in recognition of exceptional con contributions to their office or department during the academic year. The candidates are Jade Adams of Student Life, Denise Aguilera, Curtin Promise, Erin Beal, Writing Center Student Information Desk, Vanessa Bautron, Early, Early College and Outreach, Alexis Brown, Writing Center, Mallory Gardner, Renegade Student Hub, Southie C. Gonzalez, Early College and Outreach, and Summer Luna, EOPNS CalWorks Care. And two will be chosen. To say that one student is an overachiever would be an understatement. They have collaborated with other student mentors to ensure projects run smoothly and have created a strong relationship with their students. They go above and beyond to help students find answers they need. They have made sure they are knowledgeable about campus resources to guide students who need assistance. Another student, within their role in the Writing Center, they have demonstrated creativity by helping us create a supportive social media presence for students in the Surviving Bakersfield College Facebook group and making that task their own. They approach their work of maturity and leadership characteristics. They are a role model who demonstrates how to overcome barriers and push through to succeed. Our two winners are Denise Aguilera and Alexis Brown. Congratulations, you two. And now we move on to the President's Leader of the Year Award. Candidates for the President Leadership Award have excelled as student leaders who have a distinguished record of extraordinary leadership, service, spirit, advocacy, and involvement within the college community. Recipients will have a history of positive and significant accomplishments resulting in major contributions that enhance the quality of life at the college. The candidates are Nathan Andrade, Japanese Culture Club, and Benjamin Duval, Engineers Club. The student has shown time and again that they care and are willing to do anything for the club they make sure the club members are happy and taken care of. And by challenging them, the members look forward to the rewards after the contest to test their members' knowledge on engineering. And if that didn't give away, the winner is Benjamin Duval from the Engineers Club. All right, and we will now move on to student organization rewards with outgoing BCSGA Vice President Emma McNallis announcing. Uh, Benny, I'm not home yet. Could you take it for me, please? I'm sorry. In, in true Zoom fashion. Very well, Emma. Give me one second to get that for me. So some student organization awards. We are going to start with the Renegade Spirit Award. The recipients will be a stud org that brings spirit and enthusiasm to the Bakersfield College community through their programs and activities. Here are the candidates. Latinos Unidos por Educación, Lupe. Latinas Unidas, Emoja Community Club, Consent Project, Ethics Bowl Club, Japanese Culture Club, 
and sexuality and gender acceptance saga. So this stud orc has managed to keep its presence known during this pandemic by never slowing down time and again, they have supplied supports and BC spirit to the BC community and students by being open and welcoming and always fighting, fighting for their students. The winner is Latinos Unidos for Education Lupe. Congratulations, everybody. We are now gonna to move to the event of the year. The event of the year, this recipient of this award will be a stud org that sponsored an event that promoted social interaction among students. The effectiveness of the planning, publicity and execution of the events will be considered. It must be planned and executed by said org, not a campus office or department. Collaborations are acceptable. Our candidates are Emoja Community Club for the Emojas Club's Back Black History Month programming, Sexuality and Gender Awareness Saga for My Rainbow Road series, speaker le lecture series, and Latinas You Need Us for the Unraveling Latina Stereotypes panel. This stud org managed to help out with the virtual conference this past year by laying it all out on the table and talking about common stereotypes of Latinas and how these stereotypes have affected them personally and what they feel should be done to challenge racist generalizations ascribed to them. The winner is Latinas You Need Us with the Unraveling Latina Stereotypes. We will now move on to Student Organization of the Year. Student Organization of the Year. This recipient will be a strong stud org that is organized, active, and maintains strong membership. This organization continually strives to increase its impact and influence on the campus community. And here are our candidates. Our candidates are Consent Project, Latinos Unidos por Educación, Lupe, Latinas Unidas, Emoja Community Club, Ethics Bowl Club, an engineers club. This club is propelled by an amazing president and an amazing advisor. When you have so many members that care and strive to make their club and themselves great, it shows. We look forward to seeing what they do next. The winner is the engineers club. Congratulations. And now we will move on to outstanding student organization advisor. The candidate for this award is a faculty or staff member that goes above and beyond their expectations as an advisor and is an, is an integral part of their organization and shows dedication to the mission of their organization. And here are our candidates for the advisors. We have Karen Young Gomez of the Consent Project, Paula Parks from the Emoja Community Club, Manuel Rosas from Lupe, Brenda Valadez, Latinas Unidas, and Patrick Aldenhold, Engineers Club. This advisor has guided and took care of the club throughout this pandemic and has managed to keep it thriving. They go above and beyond because it is what they care and are passionate about. The advisor's commitment has trickled down to their student leadership. The winner is Patrick Aldenhold, Engineers Club. Congratulations, Patrick. And now we will move on to the Samuel W. McCall Outstanding Professor of the Year Award. And that should be presented by Dr. Nikki Demania, but all of you know at this moment, he's always in 10 places at once. So I believe we will have Danielle filling in for Nikki. Sorry about that, you guys. I totally lost control of all of my panels. I was like, ah, freezing. <laughs> okay. 
before we do that, I'm going to back it up just a second because we lost our slideshow for a second. So I need to reverse things and find the slide that we probably skipped over, which we did not mean to do. And Benny, I'm going to need your help here because I went AWOL for a second. So we're going to improvise. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the slide, but we do have it in the script. <laughs> Student life, we learn to roll with the punches, let me tell you. So let's go back to the early college initiative reward or award, I should say. The early college initiative award recognizes high school students for their early advancements in competing their college education. The recipients of this award have demonstrated an exceptional amount of responsibility and rigor in their completion of college courses while in high school. These high school students will not only graduate from their respective high school having already earned college credits, but they have also demonstrated a clear sense of the college pathway they wish to pursue. These candidates were recommended by a screening committee and there are six finalists. Those six finalists are Lydia Nunez, Jose Cortez, Isaac Lara, Annika Fernandez, Shelby Wood, and Janelle Cruz. One student is very dedicated to their learning and passion towards computer science. They're the epitome of pos positivity and they want success for all of those around them. Their teachers say that they're one of the best students they have ever had. Another student has maintained their social skills through numerous clubs offering rem offered remotely on campus. They're in the top 1% of students on campus. This student was also a huge part in bringing esports onto their campus. And our last student is a hardworking student who inspires those around them both inside and outside of the classroom. They ask questions on behalf of other students who may be shoot too shy to speak up. And the winners of the Early College, college Initiative Award are Lydia Nunez, Jose Cortez, and Isaac Lara. Congratulations to all of you. We're so very proud of you. I'm gonna give you guys, give us all a minute to catch our breath. <sighs> Congratulations to the Early College Initiative. Super, super proud of you all. We're so proud of all of our winners tonight. We're gonna hit our last final award and it's a privilege to, see, to be able to award this tonight. Um, this award is given annually to a Bakersfield College faculty member who has been nominated and selected by the students. This award spotlights the college's super teachers. All finalists are outstanding faculty members in their own right and represent the many, many fine faculty members who can be found in every department across the campus. This award is voted upon by the student body through the BCSGA spring general elections. And without further ado, I would love to announce the Professor of the Year and your commencement speaker, not just yet. <laughs> the nominees are Gregory Clough from Agriculture, Anna Collins, Philosophy, John Gerhold, Music, Deborah Rosenthal, Chemistry, Brian Russell, Philosophy, Donna Starr, Mathematics, Chris Tyner, Music, and Suzanne Tangeman, Culinary Arts. It's a privilege to work with all of you. And if I can have a drum roll, please. Our professor of the year and speaker at this year's commencement ceremony is Ms. Anna Collins. Congratulations, Anna, philosophy professor.
And I guess that leaves me for closing thoughts too. <laughs> Thank you all so much for spending your evening with us. Um, we do want to encourage you to please view the honor ceremony following this. Um, you'll have about a half hour break, get you a snack and a drink and get on YouTube at seven o'clock for the honors celebration. We have just moved into our new office, so you will find us in the new campus center when you all return to campus and we can't wait to see you. Stay safe and we will see you as soon as we possibly can. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs>